Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Been a long time since our last gym video, but that is because we have been training like crazy on the gym stream. Every day, and even this past week, we were putting in two a days on the gym stream. So definitely make sure you guys follow along at twitch.tv slash Bajira. And of course, check me out on Twitter and Instagram at BajiraWow to be notified when we're going live for the day on the games and the gains stream. So you guys can come watch these training sessions live if you feel like it. But either way, I felt like it was time for us to get a little gym video going to hopefully get you guys caught up on how training's been for us for the past couple weeks and months, I suppose, and to let you guys know that we are definitely gearing up to compete once again. I have pretty much decided that near the end of the year is the next time I would like to compete in physique once again. So the plan moving forward is basically to spend another maybe three to four months in a surplus and then spend another three to four months after that dieting down and uh, getting ready to compete and probably doing a few competitions along that time just so we can get ourselves all ready to rock um, and be in the best shape we can for our final competition of the season, kind of like how we did in 2015. So in order to prepare for that and in order to make some gains in the um, areas that I think I needed the most, it was just primarily my arms, my shoulders, and what we're seeing here in this video is upper back. And uh, the things that I've been doing for upper back that have been helping me out the most uh, pretty much are inspired by a guy that I've shouted out in, in videos past, but Alpha Destiny has been a big proponent of rack pulls. And uh, that is an exercise that I was like, you know what? I need to build my traps up. Let's give it a try. So they've become one of my absolute favorite movements for upper back and traps. And that's what I'm doing right here. So you pretty much set up uh, the bar so that you can have it above the knee, at the knee, below the knee. I think for these right here, I have it just a little bit above my knee. Uh, pretty, pretty much, uh, I'm starting with the bar touching the teardrop part of my quad, my inner quad there. And you're pretty much just grabbing a hold of that bar, using good form and picking it up and letting that weight. You'll see I'm, I'm giving it like a little bit of a hold at the top there, giving it a little bit of a stretch on my traps. And the idea behind this is that your traps aren't necessarily a big contracting muscle. That's not really their job is to have you constantly in a state of shrugging all day. You know, but what it is, what it does do is whenever you're picking up weight like this, it is designed to help keep your shoulders from ripping off of your body, right? So if you load them with heavy weight and allow them to sort of perform a weighted stretch and resist that stretch a little bit, uh, it helps the traps grow to do what they're supposed to do, right? Which is just be more of like a structural muscle. That's the theory that we're working with here. Um, and bro science or not, whatever, I feel like it's been helping my traps grow, so I'm not mad about it. I've been doing these heavy rack pulls with a hold and then I've also been finishing off the workout with shrugs, and I feel like that's definitely helped my traps grow a little bit. Traps have always been kind of a weak point for me. I feel like my shoulders and traps are probably some of the things that take the most work for the least amount of progress. <laughs> but um, moving into this physique competition season is something that I wanted to improve on. And once again, I don't think I need these massive hulking traps to compete in physique, but just when we look at my, how my physique was in 2015, uh, definitely got lean enough. But if there were any areas that needed improvement, I would say traps and upper back were one of those things. So uh, this is definitely going to help your your back in general. It's not like it's only targeting traps, especially when this weight gets a little bit heavier. You can see my lats are pretty much activated all the way down to my belt. You can see my lats sticking out there. So I think it'll help with overall back thickness as well. Um, and I'll tell you right now, it just feels fun to pick up some seriously heavy weight. Now this might have some teeny tiny carryover to your deadlift. I would not really look at it as like a massive deadlift accessory, but it is kind of fun to be able to hold on to five, almost 600 pounds when you're getting up to the heavy sets of rack pulls. And we actually bought some, some different weights for my gym so I can put nearly 600 pounds on the bar. And speaking of new equipment, I didn't have it at the time of this video, but we actually got a cable machine now too. So I can do like cable tricep pushdowns. I can do a lot of face pulls. I can do cable curls. I can do like different kinds of rows with cables, different kinds of shrugs with cables. I can do uh, like cable chest fly kind of things. I haven't, got, I haven't really gotten into those yet, but that has been a lot of fun. And that was kind of part of the inspiration for me to start doing a few two-a-days during my training. So one of the things that I'd like to do um, is make an updated diet video for you guys because um, pretty much nowadays I'm trying to get in I, I thought I, was, I wasn't I was really ever going to go over 3,500 calories to stay, to stay relatively lean, 
but when I'm training two times a day, I've actually been eating about 4,500 calories a day and waking up hungry the next day. So that's been a whole lot of fun for me to be able to eat that much more food. Because I've, I've always been pretty good at eating and be able to get that much food going through my system uh, and training twice a day feels super good. So what I've been doing is putting my morning workout at 6 a.m. So we get up at like 4.30 in the morning, straight, we get our training going on the gym stream at 6 a.m. And then I will, you know, eat after that, train from 6 to 8, 8 a.m., take a two-hour gym stream, and then we'll eat after that, and I'll do a little bit of gaming streaming from 9 to noon. And then from noon to 3, I'll actually eat one more time and take a nap. So I try to get maybe like one and a half hours, two hours of nap in the middle of the day to recover from training a bit. And then I'll also stream again from 3 to 6 p.m. on the gaming stream. And then we will do a 6 to 8 p.m. evening gym stream where I'm pretty much just doing a bunch of arms and shoulders and push-ups, maybe some pull-ups if we're feeling fancy, and just doing some body weight stuff just to get some extra blood flow in. And just because I, I have a new toy at my gym and I really can't help but get in there and mess around with the, uh, with the cable machine. So that's been a lot of fun for me. That's a two-a-day schedule. I don't do that every day. My, otherwise, I'll probably stream from like 9 to noon or 1, and then I'll do a three-hour gym stream in the middle of the day, and then I'll be back on the evening stream from like 7 to 10. That's a normal day. And I'm thinking I might either alternate every other day with two-a-days, or we will do like a two-on of a two-a-day, and then do like one normal day. Because I think two-a-days every day would probably beat me up a little bit too much, maybe burn me out, but if I can incorporate two-a-days in, in a way that makes sense, in the way that feels good, I think we can make a lot of gains getting some extra shoulder work in there, but... Speaking of extra gains, we are putting in some serious weight on these rack pulls right now. I don't. I feel like we've pretty much damn near maxed out the bar here. What is that? So that's 405 plus 495. That's probably 545 right there. I'm guessing. That's a that's a that's a fair amount of weight to be picking up and holding on to. But that's kind of one of the fun things about rack pulls is that you can really really overload the weight. It reminds me of a leg press. You know, you can put about four times your squat on a leg press and do it. So it's just like an overloading exercise, but it, it may allow you to make some gains. My traps definitely feel <laughs> the effects from these workouts afterwards, but I feel like it also just helps your entire back. Like my my lats are getting flared out a little bit because they have to. You have to really kind of keep your core tight as if it was a deadlift. You have to really use your back as if it was a deadlift just to make sure that your body doesn't rip apart, it feels like. And that's kind of a, it's kind of a cool feeling to be able to pick up all that weight, hang on to it. And, and just sort of, it, it's a it's a different feeling when you're just sort of normally lifting weights and you're lifting weights that you can do maybe for sets of 10, and then you start picking up some seriously heavy stuff, like 500, 600 pounds is not heavy for some people who are super strong, but for me, I have not, in my lifting history, picked up 600 pounds very often. So now I think we're at 565, and that is probably about as heavy as I've ever held onto any weight. So I'm I'm having I'm having an, a transcendent experience right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see me, you see me put that weight down. I'm just smiling because I can see the matrix. You know, like after picking up that weight, it's pretty funny. But that's that's just that's just part of the fun of the gym streams is that we, we get in there, kick some ass, and share that that process with you guys. So if you are among the people who are seeing these gym videos or and missing the gym videos, I definitely encourage you once again, like I said at the beginning of the video. To come on over to twitch.tv slash Bajira during the training sessions. Always a lot of fun hanging out, but especially, you know, if you just want to see what I was doing for the day, you can always check out the past broadcast tab. You just go to the videos, past broadcast, check out check out how the sets were going for the day. You are more than willing to do that. That's what they're there for. <laughs> and now we hit up some of those uh, rack pulls, sufficiently tore my hands to shreds, and now we're going to do some shrugs to finish it all off. So I was talking about rack pulls is one of those things that I really like. But the shrugs have been a lot of fun too, and they follow a similar principle, right? The squeeze at the top is nice, that's kind of what makes it a shrug, but one of the things that you'll notice is I'm trying to kind of let the weight down a little bit hard, so that it does stretch out the trap. And you can see how kind of how the traps, they're not only, you know, going out from the side on, on top of your back, but they're also going all the way down. It's kind of like the middle of your spine too, right? So if you're trying to make yourself some trap and upper back gains, definitely try out this rack pull shrug combo throw some weight on there and just hammer it out is what i do but definitely thank you guys for watching these gym videos hopefully we'll have you guys hanging out on the gym streams i do want to make an updated diet video for you guys just to keep you in the loop of how the bulk is going and what i'm doing to put on hopefully a little bit of lean gains but either way guys thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time peace